the weather story, feast or famine, obviously you had the drought and then all of a sudden you have the rain coming and you have the hurricane remnants coming through here. We're still dealing with that, Kevin. Yeah, we are still dealing with that because we've still got those showers that are out there today. But, you know, it seems like we've kind of got into a soggy rut for about the past three or four days. Don't worry, we're going back to what we had before Helene. And by that, I mean back to dry weather because after tomorrow, I think the rest of the week is pretty dry for us. Here's a look at radar right now. We've got scattered showers. They're kind of pinwheeling in from an odd direction. They're moving sort of from the back door northeast to southwest or kind of east to west across the tri state this is all still part of that big circulation that was Helene. But you can see these showers. Look at that about to dive right in the Mason in the next couple of minutes. Quick downpour. Fortunately, they won't last long, but if you're outside underneath them, you certainly could get drenched. Look at this big downpour that blew up right over Lakeside Park there very close to Erlanger 275 and 75. You know the interchange there where you go off towards the airport. Uh, to the west, so big downpour about to move right through that neck of the woods. And then you've got some pockets of heavier rain out here in Dearborn County between Sparta and Dillsboro. This will drop into Ohio and Switzerland counties with a little rainfall tracking east of us some showers through parts of Adams and the Brown counties as well. So this is going to go on, you know, off and on between about now and let's say eight, maybe lingering as late as nine o'clock as we've just kind of got this kind of stretched out area of low pressure, which basically reflects the remnants of Helene over the weekend. They just kind of got stuck and parked over the Ohio Valley. That's why we dealt with the gloomy very dreary weather conditions. This will get out of here starting tomorrow. I think we've got one more day of kind of intermittent hit and miss spotty showers. And then after that, midweek and beyond is pretty quiet for us. Here's a look at future cast. You'll see these showers again. They'll fade once the sun goes down. So after about eight or nine, most of us are dry. We'll have mostly cloudy skies. I do think because of the light winds and the abundance of moisture in the air, something we haven't had a lot of so far late summer, early fall now. So we'll probably have some fog and or low clouds to contend with first thing in the morning. We'll keep an eye on how dense that fog could potentially become overnight. Otherwise, that should burn off. And I think tomorrow's a lot like today. You see behind me here, scattered spotty showers throughout the afternoon. And then tomorrow evening that gets out of here and we finally see the weather pattern shift a little bit. So 77 is where we're currently sitting at the moment. Here's your 12 hour forecast. We'll keep those spotty showers around again through about eight or nine, and then we'll dry it out overnight and get those lows into the 60s. So fog is likely late tonight, 61 for your overnight low. Tomorrow morning fog, mostly cloudy. Again, those hit and miss splashes of rain similar to today will be around. And I think again, they'll stick around even into the evening, even though you don't see it here. That's because it won't be raining the entire time, a lot like today, but there will be spotty areas of rain around. Notice though, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we are back into beautiful weather. We do see temperatures cool off a little bit Wednesday there. Notice the nights we will get the humidity out of here. We'll get cooler nights into the 50s, but overall it's a resumption of, you know, late warm September weather going into early October, it appears with temperatures in the 70s and 80s going into the upcoming weekend.